Okay, so today is the second part of the texturing tutorials of the kitchen. So we are going to do the cupboards, fridge, uh, table and door. Uh, the texturing style is all the same. So I'm going to be explaining um, how to texture. But if you want to follow along, you can just watch the video and copy what I do. Because most of these texturing techniques are exactly the same. They comprise of images, uh, gradients and emission shaders before the BSDF just like all the other texturing I did before this. So there's no reason to go through each shader step by step, but I'm going to show uh, how I do it anyway. Uh, so if you want to follow along, you can just copy what I'm doing here. There is one shader that isn't like the rest. The cupboards, the table, and the fridge are basically the same. They are basically gradients, image textures, or uh, noise textures that I used. However, with the door window, that will need some explaining. So after I shade the cupboard, the table and the fridge, I'll explain how to do the window of the door. But for now, you can follow along how I do the shading of the kitchen.
Throughout the scene, I added a bit more light. So as you see at the table, I added some light here in the edge and I added light next to the fridge. Uh, that is just to replicate how it looks in the render. Alright, so now we are reaching the door. This is going to be a bit uh, peculiar. What you want to do before shading the window and assign a new shader. And then you have to scroll down to the settings 
and change it to alpha blend and alpha hashed and that way it will be able to be see through so in the shading tab we are going to delete the bsdf and add a emission and transparent shader and plug that into a mix shader that is going to allow the window to be transparent uh, however yeah as you see in the reference there are misty edges of the door and the middle is somewhat clear so what we are going to do is we are going to plug a gradient into the mix shader uh, put a color ramp in front of the gradient and control T the gradient but we are going to add this kind of mist in the corners so we are going to rotate the gradient and in the color ramp in the middle we are going to put the black which is the transparency and on the edges we are going to put the emission which is the white now you see we're getting the semblance of uh, of the mist at the edges we just need to play with the mapping notice a bit more and we'll get what we like for the following tutorials most of it will just be me shading and if you want to you can follow along and if not then I'll just say which part of the tutorial I will be speaking over and explaining what I'm doing Alright boy